What is going on guys, DBG here, and they released new packs, so guess what? It's yet another video where I test out the pack odds by opening 100 packs. Before we get onto this video, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers in like the next four or five weeks, and the support in this channel has been absolutely unbelievable like we're gaining five six hundred subscribers a day which is nuts and also basically breaking view records every couple of days so big big thanks to everyone that's been supporting recently but anyway now let's get out to the pack opening so there is i'm trying to think there's been no single pack opening this year where i have managed to make a profit will this be a first so from opening 100 packs as in i've not pulled cards like trust me these rubies go for this card value there is like, there's times where through 10, 15 packs I've made profit, but there's no time ever that through 100 packs, I've gotten, like, of the 100 to 150 cards I've gotten in those, that with the million plus MT that I've spent on them, that I couldn't have just bought the cards. So, yeah. No, not the worst pull in the world. Actually, not a very good pull at all. But packs are absolutely worthless. Do not open packs. Well... Whatever, if you want to open packs with VC, do like do it if you want. But do not open packs with MT. Because I know, say, for example, you could open two or three and get lucky. But like as you guys can see from these videos, the more packs you open, the less likely you are to get lucky. Or yeah, the less likely you are to get lucky, the more likely you are to just get absolutely nothing. Like I wouldn't be surprised if I get absolutely no opals in a hundred packs. Because let's be real, the odds are definitely less than one in a hundred for the top rated cards or i could go and do what i did in the um what were they called the generation x packs and pull two and six packs and pull i get two of my first six and three were or two of them were within three and or within four packs so that could be like that's a possibility as well so packs are just completely completely just awful like but then again I'm opening these packs to show you a lot of the time show you guys the odds so that you guys know going in the generation next packs you guys saw how juiced they were and i know a lot of you on packs is that an opal or a diamond i'm gonna presume it's a diamond because i don't actually i can't tell the difference as you guys know i'm colorblind i can't tell the difference between an opal and a diamond it's a diamond isaiah thomas that's about 2000 mt but i'll take it i will take it it's gonna be a fun card to use i'm gonna get a gameplay out of them gonna be very very fun so yeah I'm just going to assume diamond. Anytime I see that glow, I'm going to assume diamond because I'd rather expect diamond and then be pleasantly surprised with it being an opal than expect an opal and be annoyed with it being a diamond. So anyway, now we are just going to get on to opening packs and I will be back the next time we pull a diamond or higher. Okay, there we go. Another diamond, that took a while. And I think I I can tell the difference between a diamond and an opal now. Or, yeah, that is Markinen. Okay, I saw balls and I was like, is it Rose? No, Markinen. I think I see the difference between how much it shakes. Still, gonna assume everything's a diamond unless uh, I get otherwise. But we are right now, like I know obviously I started 950 KMT. Because when I discard all the players, it's going to end up being, um, I'm going to get at least, at least 100,000 MT out of that. So that's why it's roughly 100. But yeah, not the worst in the world. 250k, two diamonds. Like we made a massive loss. Don't get me wrong. We have made a massive, massive loss. But um, at least we're getting some of the higher tier cards, I guess. I read like the only cards I actually want are Kurt, the big three: Kurlenko, Robinson, and Derek Rose. I could not care less about any of the other cards because, again, yeah, I can pick them up for about five or six KMT. And I really want one of the opals because I don't want to wait four hours for a gameplay. To be completely honest, but uh, yeah. So now again, we are going to keep opening packs until we get something decent. Okay, there we go. We got another diamond by the looks of it. Okay, we got another marketing. That's great. Like, he's actually worth nothing. I'm going to see if I can sell him for like 7 or 8k MT. 
He's got a little bit of MT back now, but he is worth nothing. Okay, okay, we got Kurlenko. We got Kurlenko. It's not over. We got a gameplay anyway. All right, it's taking a while. It has taken quite a while. We got Kurlenko. Is he gonna go for under 100 KMT? Probably. But hey, we got the 2K gave upgraded the best Hall of Fame or the best um, base 11 player, and now it's the best card in my team. We got a video, something like that title. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm kidding and I'm not. Probably going to be titled something very like that. But, anyway, I'm really happy with Karolenko. He is going to be one of the best cards in the game, without doubt. Unless 2K did something and got rid of his base 11, which I wouldn't be that surprised if they did. And we got probably another Carmelo Anthony. Yep. So, the pack opening hasn't been a complete disaster. Hasn't been good. Definitely hasn't been good. But the fact we got Karolenko means it's probably, for the minute anyway, not an absolute disaster. Okay, so now we are down to probably our last 10 packs. It has been bad so far. It has been really bad. Like, I can't even... Like, basically, since I pulled those, I got nothing after I pulled those two Galaxy Opals. So I got pulled two Galaxy Opals in six packs, and since then I have opened up 294 plus packs, probably at more than 300 packs realistically, and I have yet, not even have I yet to pull an Opal, I've pulled two total pink diamonds as far as i know and nothing again in this pack but like that just shows like you can get a little bit of luck like you can get on a bit of a roll like i've seen people pull like bio 2k pulled back-to-back -back opals last week and i'm guessing he's pulled nothing since like you can have a good run where you're pulling stuff quite frequently and then you can easily enough do exactly what I've been doing the last couple of pack openings and pulled absolutely nothing. Like it is, like the pack odds in this game are worse than pack odds in any other game. Uh, actually, they're bad. Let's just say they're bad. I'm not gonna say they're worse because I did play FIFA a lot and FIFA is pretty bad. So I'm not necessarily going to go as far as say 2K is worse than FIFA, but it's definitely, definitely up there. Is that a, I'm gonna take it as a diamond. I'm praying it's an opal. I think it's a diamond. Please, just save me. It's a diamond. Isaiah Thomas, who goes for discard value. That is not worth anything to me. At this stage, I'm getting angry at diamonds. They're not worth anything. This is like when people were opening packs last year and you were getting pink diamonds and then suddenly you were getting pink diamond Baron Davis. Pink Diamond Baron Davis was worth nothing last year. Them cards aren't worth anything. Yes, they're better than getting a ruby. But not by much. Not by much. Like that Isaiah Thomas. A limitless range, 5 foot 9 player. Like, I get it, he's going believe stats, limitless range, 99 shot 3. He's going for 5 KMT max. Max, he's going for 5 KMT. But, yeah. I just, I just don't even know anymore. That's it. This is the last pack. We're, we're getting nothing. I know we're getting nothing. We get a sapphire. We get Blake, bronze, and silver. We get absolutely nothing. And as always, we have just completely, completely wasted a pack opening. So let's see if, well, let's just see what they're going for. Premium, 20th anniversary. Rose right now, 700. That's not bad. 
Normally you see these up above, well above a million. Okay. I think I might be able to get in for less than a million. At some stage. I might be able to get in for less than a million. And then we're going to go into Trailback Elite. The one that I don't have. The only one I didn't pull was David Robinson. David Robinson, 800k, 600k, 1.5 million. And he's been pulled no more often than Rose. He's going for at least a million and a half. So it's going to be very, very tough for me to get both of these cards, to be completely honest. But, sure, look. Could be worse. We could have not pulled Karolenko, and that would have been an absolute disaster, but wasn't very good as it is. So, yeah. Let's just put Karolenko into the squad. And, yeah, we're going to get a gameplay out as soon as possible with Andre Karolenko. And, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Big thanks to everyone that's been subscribed recently. Um, we are still on track for 100,000 subscribers. And again, this is the hardest I've worked for pretty much anything these last couple of weeks. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.